Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to Daily's 2A News. As if Californians didn't have it bad enough already, new gun control is set to take effect on July 1st of 2021. So that's in just a couple months from the time I'm making this video. Let's talk about what's going on. This channel is proud to be supported by the USCCA. The U.S. Concealed Carry Association helps responsible Americans like you prepare for what happens before, during, and after an act of lawful self-defense. USCCA members get life-saving education, expert training, plus defense liability insurance. These benefits provide more than 500,000 USCCA members with the peace of mind that they deserve. Plus, a USCCA membership is always risk-free with their 100% money-back, bulletproof guarantee. Membership is truly an investment worth exploring. Click the most important link you might click ever down below and activate your U.S. Concealed Carry Association membership now. Okay, so the new gun control law that's going to be taking effect in California starting July 1st of 2021 is pretty bad. Californians already have a tough time. They're treated like criminals, and this makes it even worse. This is all based off of SB 61. Under current existing California law, people who live in California can only apply to purchase one handgun a month. The application, or what they call the application, is simply your background check, the 4473. When you fill out a 4473 to buy a handgun, you have to wait. 30 days before you can fill out another background check and get another handgun. Well, SB 61 expanded on that, and so now it's one total firearm purchase per month. That is handguns and any semi-automatic center fire rifle. That means that people who go in to buy, let's say, one pistol and one rifle cannot do so. They can go into a shop, fill out their 4473, they can get the handgun or the rifle, and then they'll have to wait 30 days before they can simply fill out a 4473 for that next firearm. It is unconstitutional, it is firearms rationing, and they're simply restricting people's Second Amendment rights 30 days at a time. Now, I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit directly from the bill here so you guys can hear the words that they use. Okay, again, this to me is completely unconstitutional, telling somebody that they're not able to practice their Second Amendment rights for 30 days. And there are lawsuits that are ready to go and that are going to be thrown out there immediately on July 1st. Okay, so again, make sure that you guys are supporting the Firearms Policy Coalition. You're becoming a member and you donate because they're the ones that are going to end up in court for stuff like this. So let me go ahead and read it. Uh, SB 61, uh, Portatino Firearms Transfers. Okay, existing law subject to exemptions prohibits a person from making more than one application to purchase a handgun within a 30-day period. A violation of that prohibition is a crime. Existing law prohibits firearms dealers from delivering a handgun to a person whenever the dealer is notified by the Department of Justice that within the preceding 30-day period, the purchaser has made another application to purchase a handgun that does not fall within the exemption uh, of that 30-day prohibition. A violation of that delivery prohibition by the dealer is a crime. Okay, so that's what the handguns. This bill would effective July 1st of 2021 make the 30-day prohibition and the dealer delivery prohibition described above as also applicable to semi-automatic center fire rifles. So here's what I can tell you now. Whenever it comes to California, California attempts gun control, they make some type of gun control bill, regardless if it's constitutional or not. Other blue states and anti-Second Amendment states are watching what happens in California. If it looks like it's something that's gonna be held up in court, it will get implemented in other states. This stuff just spreads like wildfire. You can see that basically the current uh, administration that we have in our federal government right now, they've basically taken California's blueprint and they're trying to pass that on a national level. Again, these are all things that already exist in California, like universal background checks, registration, rationing, uh, ammo registration, all that stuff. Is, is what they're trying to do with the federal government right now. So if this is allowed to stand, it's gonna be a big problem elsewhere. So that's why the fight that we're gonna have in court is gonna be so important over this one. It's clearly unconstitutional. If you guys are watching this video, you probably already know that. You can't prohibit somebody from practicing their Second Amendment rights. It would be like you're allowed to have free speech for one day, but then you have to wait 30 days again before you have free speech again. If you tried to tell somebody that, or you tried to make a rule of that, it wouldn't hold mustard. It wouldn't stand. If you tried to take somebody's rights away for a 30-day period, it, that, it would just be an absolute non-starter. It wouldn't work. So you have to apply the same principles across all of our rights that you do uh, to the Second Amendment. 
Now, here's the unfortunate thing. Regardless if it's constitutional or not, it's something that's going to be enforced. If FFLs in California want to keep their license and they want to stay in business, they're going to uphold that prohibition by not releasing it to anybody. And if they know that you've already filled one out uh, within that 30-day period, they're probably not going to let you fill another one out within that 30-day period. Going to another shop or something like that, they're going to get notified by the DOJ that they have a current application that's on file within the last 30 days and that that FFL is going to be prohibited from actually delivering it to you. Okay, so this is something that's still going to hold up for now because of the pressure that government is putting on uh, dealerships, basically, you know, the tyranny that's being applied here. So it's it's going to be very difficult for Californians. So if you're somebody who has the means to be able to get what you want now, get what you want now. I'm not trying to cause any crazy stir, any type of panic buy or anything like that, but it's best to be smart. If you know that you have some stuff coming up, maybe a trip that you want to go on with your two kids, right? Maybe you want to go on a hunting trip, but you don't have anything yet. You were thinking about buying one. Well, you could buy one, but you can't buy one for your two kids that are going to come with you because that would be obviously more than one. It would essentially take you, what is it, 90 days to buy the three that you would need for you and your kids to be able to go and hunt and do whatever you need to do. So if you have the means to get it now, I would still get it now because regardless if it's unconstitutional or not, unless we can get a stay in the matter where we can actually put a hold on this uh, law, unless we can actually, you know, get a judge like you know, to physically sign off that this is unconstitutional before it actually gets heard, it's something that's still going to be enforced. Now, if you live in California, make sure that you make your voice heard. Make sure that you do your part to try and fight back against this. Again, join those groups that can get in court and help fight back for you. That's probably the best way to go. Now, there is going to be some more stuff that's going to be taking effect on July 1st of 2021. Excuse me, 2021. So I'm going to make a video about that tomorrow. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. And uh, tomorrow we'll talk about the next thing that's going to be happening because it's not good either. But uh, if there ever is good news, promise I'll come with uh, that as well. Thank you again all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe again. Have a great day.